Just like in our previous video, we always said, to figure out where a drug was produced and manufactured, we have to go to Germany. The drug we want to talk about today started from Germany as well. It's the year 1937, and scientists in IG Farben Industries are trying to figure out to make a new painkiller. Because Germany at that time had a shortage of opium and morphine. That is why they wanted to make a chemical product that did the same thing as the opium. After researching and testing, they figured out a drug that's possible to replace opium and morphine in terms of getting rid of pain. This drug was made and it was even used by the German soldiers in World War II. When World War II was over, the project of producing methadone was not over, but it just begun. Even before the Americans knew what this drug is, because it came out of Nazi Germany, they gave it a bad name and they said it's an addictive drug. And the funny thing is, at that time, they didn't actually know it was addictive or not. Either way, the drug went to the US and the entire world. In the 1950s, the Germans did even more research on methadone and they came up with new ways to use it. The first use they suggested was for morphine addicts and they would suggest with the help of methadone, you could quit opium products and morphine. The doctors would say the effects are similar to morphine, but the hangover is not as bad. After this, methadone went from being a painkiller to a way to treat opiate addiction. Germans didn't let go and they even advertised some more. They even suggested that you could replace methadone with morphine because the effects of morphine is extremely negative on the human body and it messes up the digestive system. But methadone would not do that. If you've seen our video about heroin, you'll know that it was supposed to replace morphine. But look what happened. The name the Germans put on this drug was hoaxed 10820, but the name the Americans put on the pill made it go worldwide. Methadone. And the only reason was that the German word was very hard to pronounce. But the Germans had another word for it, and it was called dolophin, and it's basically another word in Latin for painkiller. But a lot of people say no, that comes from Adolf. Adolf Hitler not only used methamphetamine, he also used methadone, and we've talked about it in our meth video. These were the advertisements about this pill at that time, but it has been over 70 years since then, but the advertisement still remains, and they suggest it's a useful drug for addicts. In the 1960s, this drug was really popular. Some doctors would say, with the help of this pill, addicts could have a happy life. And it's the best way to get clean if you're addicted to opioids. But they wouldn't say that this is an addiction itself. And more and more people will be addicted to it. Like for a person that's addicted to heroin, it makes the usage of the drug way less. And it will hold the withdrawals much longer. When methadone is usually prescribed to a person, they say take one pill a day based on the milligram. It is true that it could be helpful and it has helped plenty of people to get clean. But unfortunately, most of the time, the user is just replacing an addiction with another addiction and the negative effects are not any lower than before. Another dangerous thing about methadone is to use it with other narcotics or drugs and or alcohols, and it could create complications or even death. Right now in most of the world, they don't prescribe methadone just to anybody. It has to be a proper doctor 
and they have to have an excuse to give it to you. But unfortunately, in a lot of other countries, especially in the Middle East, this drug is very easily prescribed to addicts. And this has caused a lot of people to replace an addiction with another addiction. So they're not really being helped. Just like we said, in the Middle East, we have the most amount of people addicted to opium. And that's the main reason there is a lot of methadone uses as well. And that is why the doctors there will easily prescribe methadone because the amount of addicts are extremely high. We have to say that a lot of addicts became clean with the help of methadone. And do you know the reason? It's because they didn't let methadone control them they controlled the methadone and that means in a short period of time they kept lowering the usage until they came clean but unfortunately in most cases instead of making the user use less and less they use more and more over time you could even overdose with methadone and that could bring death as well Let's see some side effects on methadone, on how it affects our body. One of the most important things it does is that it makes you calm. It gives you constipation. You feel a little hotness inside. Some users with a little bit of moving start sweating. Dizziness and fainting are normal. It could do something to your body that you have no more strength. If you use methadone, even though you're tired most of the time, it's very hard to sleep. Dilated pupils are very normal and a lot of other side effects. These are the short effects of methadone, but what are the long-term effects? The long-term effects are very similar to the heroin or any other opioids. And it really affects your nervous system and brain. And worse than that, on your kidneys and liver. The effects it has on your entire body is very bad, but those are the main points. Methadone addiction could lead to mental illness as well. A lot of users have reported to have hallucination. They can't sleep because their mind is always racing and it even leads people to depression and suicide. There are a lot of people that are addicted to this drug that just want to become clean. If anybody wants to quit, they can't. They just have to find the force inside them and slowly lower the usage until they reach zero.